Hello everyone, welcome all, welcome back to my channel. I am Naima and today we're diving into the secrets of studying smart, not hard. Whether you're a student looking to improve your grades or someone trying to learn a new skill efficiently, this video is for you. Let's jump right in. Okay, before we start, let's understand what studying smart really means. It's about optimizing your study techniques to make the most out of your time and effort. Here, the goal is not to work harder, but to work smarter and achieve better results. The first step is to set clear and achievable goals. You need to define what you want to accomplish in each study session. This could be mastering a specific topic, completing a set number of practice problems, or understanding a chapter. Clear study goals give your study sessions purpose and direction. On the flip side, not setting clear goals is like driving without knowing where you're going. It can lead to wasted time and confusion. So before you start studying, make sure to set specific goals for each study session. Let's talk about time management now. Have you ever found yourself losing focus during long study sessions? Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. That's where the Pomodoro technique comes in. The Pomodoro technique involves breaking your study time into intervals, usually 25 minutes followed by a short break. This helps maintain focus and prevents burnout. After four cycles, take a long break. It's a simple but powerful way to stay productive. Now let's talk about effective note taking. This is a skill that can make or break your learning experience. You can try techniques like the Cornell method or mind mapping while attending your lectures. A robust note taking system helps you organize information and makes it easier to understand and review. My favorite method is the Cornell method. This method involves dividing your note paper into three sections, a narrow left column, a wider right column, and a section at the bottom. Here's how it typically works. The narrow left column is used for writing cues or keywords. During a lecture or while reading, jot down keywords or questions that will help you recall the information later. The right column is the note taking area. This is where you write your main notes. Use this section to write down key concepts, explanations and details during the lecture or while reading. Then comes the bottom section, also known as summary area. After the lecture or reading, use the bottom section to summarize the main ideas. This can be a brief recap of the key points in your own words. The Cornell method boosts your active learning. You can summarize the information in your own words and use the Q column for quick reviews later. One of the best ways to solidify your understanding is to teach the material to someone else. This could be a friend, a study group, or even an imaginary person. By the way, this is also known as the Feynman technique, which states that teach what you have learned to someone else or pretend you are teaching a class. This simple technique helps you understand things better. Now, when it comes to study resources, choose wisely. Whether it's textbooks, online courses, or videos, make sure your resources are reliable and align with your learning style. Invest time in finding the right materials and it will pay off in the long run. A quick tip when choosing your study materials, don't overload yourself with too many videos or books. It can get a bit confusing. Stick to just one or two trusted resources that you really like. Remember, it's better to go deep into a few things rather than skimming the surface of everything. Keep it simple and focused. Now let's explore the role of technology in optimizing your study experience. I'm not just talking about the apps, I'm talking about tapping into the power of advanced AI. One such tool is everyone's favorite ChatGPT. And here's how you can use it to supercharge your learning. ChatGPT is an incredible resource for instant knowledge retrieval. Are you struggling to understand a complex concept? There is no need to worry anymore. Just type in your question and ChatGPT can provide concise explanations, breaking down difficult subjects into more digestible pieces. Writing assistance and feedback. Enhance your essay writing and get instant feedback. Describe your ideas or share a draft with ChatGPT and it can offer suggestions, correct grammar and provide constructive feedback making your writing more polished and effective. Interactive study sessions. 
Make studying fun with ChatGPT. Ask it questions or just have a chat about what you're learning. The more you talk with it, the smarter it becomes about how you like to learn. It's almost like having a personalized study partner who knows exactly how you learn the best. This is the era of AI and every student must leverage the power of AI. But use the power of AI responsibly. Remember AI is your study buddy, not a shortcut for cheating. All right, let's talk about a common student problem. Forgetting what you have learned. It happens to all of us, right? You cram for a test and after a few days, poof, the information is gone. But no worries, the solution is simple, regular reviews. It might sound like a bit of extra work, but trust me, it's worth it. Just set aside some time every week or month to revise the important stuff. The term used for this is spaced repetition. It simply means reviewing study material at the right time for long-term retention. And the last, but certainly not the least, is to regularly assess your study methods. What's working well? What needs improvement? Know yourself and be ready to change how you study. That's how you keep getting better. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to studying smarter, not harder. Remember, it's not about the quantity of time you spend studying, but the quality of your study sessions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more fun content. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.